I'm Bobby C. And come take a walk with me as we go inside the 2010 Naismith Memorial Basketball Hall of Fame inductions. A star-studded cast strolled down the red carpet and into hoops in more talent as the Naismith Memorial Basketball Hall of Fame welcomed its 2010 class to Springfield, Massachusetts. There was the NBA's second all-time leading scorer, Carl Malone, the other half of Chicago's Batman and Robin duo during its six-time championship run of the 1990s in Scottie Pippen. The first Hall of Famer from the WNBA, Houston Comets great Cynthia Cooper, arguably the greatest high school coach in history in St. Anthony's Bobby Hurley Sr., as well as the NBA's version of the Lord of the Rings and Lakers owner Jerry Buss and the posthumous inductions of the late great Dennis Johnson, Gus Johnson, and Brazil's Maciel Pereira. And if that wasn't enough, the hallowed halls welcomed the 1992 USA Dream Team and their predecessors, the 1960 gold medal winners. In all, you can make a case that the 2010 class is arguably the greatest of all time. The focus this year was more on teams than individuals. Charles Barkley, who like so many of the other members of the 1992 and the 1960 USA teams, are all enshrined individually in the Hall of Fame, still recalled the gold medal summer as one of the greatest times of his life. Charles, you, you ever look back and say to yourself, you know, when, when 1992 was going on, that you didn't realize how great it was and when it was actually happening, but years later looking back, you say to yourself, what an unbelievable team? Well, I'm asked about the dream team all the time, especially every time the Olympics come up. It was just an honor and a pleasure to be on the team. Boston Celtics legend Larry Bird stopped just short of calling the dream team the best squad ever assembled. Yeah, it was. It was just the group that we had. I mean, I competed against all these guys in, in finals and conference finals and all year long. And getting an opportunity to play with them at the end of my career in the Olympics and represent your country, it was, it was a great, great honor. Earlier in the day, West, the NBA's logo, said he believed his group of college players that won its eight games in Rome by 42.4 points per game was the greatest amateur team that ever played. But I will tell you, I played on, I think, the greatest amateur team that ever played. And I'm so thankful that I can still say that these men are my friends. Uh, for a young kid from West Virginia, it was a thrill of a lifetime, and still is today. The Admiral, San Antonio legend David Robinson, said both teams will always have their place in history. Well, you know, it's hard to argue against it, but, you know, it, I mean, it's, um, you, you can't translate times and people. I mean, it's, I mean, what do you say about a team that has Oscar Robertson and Jerry West? I mean, Malone, an anchor of some great Utah Jazz teams in the 1990s, along with pick and roll partner John Stockton, was honored to join the Hall as part of the 92 Olympic team and as an individual. The two-time MVP said his success came from staying true to his Louisiana roots. And I just want to say to my wife and kids, thanks for allowing Dad to, to play the game of basketball. And I want to say that it's an honor and privilege to be up here with all the greats. And once again, I'm very humbled and appreciative. Pippen was constantly overshadowed by Jordan's greatness during his playing career, but in his mind, he owes everything to number 23. The ultimate wingman was so good at being the number two guy that he became a number one guy. One really knows my story and how humble I am to be able to look to my right and to my left and see all the great players that I was and gave me a chance to work hard to get to this position. And I want to thank everyone for supporting me throughout my career. For Chris Mullen, one of New York City's greatest hoop legends. His role on the 1992 Dream Team, he said, stands atop a career that includes everything from being the all-time leading scorer at St. John's to being named to five NBA All-Star games. You know, growing up on the New York City Blacktops, did you ever think you were going to get a chance to one day be in the Pro Basketball Hall of Fame? No, this is an incredible dream come true, and uh, it's just my honor to be here. It's, it's uh, humbling to be around it's just great uh, legendary figures and uh, to get to know him personally a little bit is, is a, a great experience. It takes a Hall of Famer to know a Hall of Famer and there is no greater Hall of Famer from these parts than the Bronx's own Nate Tiny Archibald, one of the members of the 50 greatest all-time team. He shed some light on this year's class and what it means to be a Hall of Famer. All of those guys are in the Hall of Fame individually right now Okay, and I, I just wish them well, and the pressure's on them. It's not on me, because I went through it in 91. <laughs>